Hello, I'm Nicola, I'm here with Breezebrae Productions and we are here at the 56th annual ICD Publicist Store. We are big fans of True Lies. Is there any stories from True Lies? Oh, I haven't thought about True Lies in a while, but I mean, I had a great time. It was a wonderful movie. Jim Cameron wrote the part for me and it turned out to be one of the great experiences of my life. Wow, that's incredible. I'm glad to hear it. And um, now I hear that you're a big fan of black and white photography you do still photography what is it about black and white photography that you think is is oh, just go see the movie Roma see the work that came out of Roma and that's why Oh, the crazy story from Jurassic Park and Bohemian Rhapsody? My goodness, I don't know. Uh, I know that's a hard question, right? You need to write a memoir. I do I need to write a memoir, actually. I mean, Jurassic Jurassic Park made half the book, I think. I mean, there was a day where I got injured on my birthday, where the raptor's supposed to be chasing me in the kitchen. I'm going into the freezer. I'm supposed to go left. It's supposed to go right. I turn around. It goes left with me. It's metal claw hits me in the head. I get knocked down. I'm dizzy. And that's when Steven Spielberg decides to sing Happy Birthday to me. That's a true story. That is a fantastic story. It's about with the publicist awards today. Yeah. Oh my god, I think they really deserve it because if you think about it, Crazy Rich Asians was a, a romantic comedy, then we hadn't had a success in romantic comedies for like 13, 14 years. Then it's an all Asian cast. Not, uh, you know, yes, we have Constance who's fresh off the boat, myself and Lisa and Ken Jeong, but still, we were, you know, it's not like you're under the banner of Marvel. You know, being a child star and everything. D does does things get exciting still? You know, projects and yeah. Absolutely. I I don't really do anything that doesn't make me inspired and exciting. And I'm very lucky that I have the career that I have. And I I'm not sure that's ever going to change. And I guess maybe the day that I wake up and I'm not sort of a bit nervous and giggly about going to work is the day I need to find something else to do. But.